Hey there everyone, this is Zao Cow playing Shadow the Hedgehog and today we're gonna finish a run and we're gonna be replaying a route we've already done and honestly it's kind of the start of that, but here we go. <laughs> like there's just not much more to it, like we're at that part, but yeah, see we're gonna go up there and we need to do the bad end, which remember like this is the get the computer room level. The truth is Except this time I don't get the computer room. I I, I stop early, so I'm gonna play less than the first time I played that level. Since this all started. That's just Something how it goes. Giant monster that happened in the past, right there in that gated garden. Yeah. When I got the fifth demo before the Wait, that doesn't make sense. Well, I mean, you got in the ship. You didn't really get it. Well, is it in the space colony? Nothing matters. Everything will be crystal clear. Let's talk about Sonic. Yesterday I mentioned how I feel like Sonic is kind of defined by his confidence. Like, to quote a game that's going to be coming up in the future, like, it's his world. Sonic... Yeah, we've seen this, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is when Commander Face is here. I'm just gonna skip that. We saw that yesterday. Like, we live in Sonic's world. Sonic is very confident about the place he takes. He knows his Maria role. Was like a he knows why he's here. He knows what he's doing. He doesn't care what anyone thinks. He's comfortable in his place. Like, Sonic reads to me like... So the professor created. like someone who just never really had to struggle like he's supposed to be like 14 years old or something but like anything related to age officially cosmic fall uh, in his game i feel like you can ignore like sonic always as soon as he started to talk and like emote and stuff he's clearly to me a uh, an adult that never really had to struggle like, he just, everything he's ever done has just always been extremely simple for him. And a part of it is because whenever something was not easy, he just does not, like, interact with it. Now this platform just got on fire. I should probably do something about it. Just waiting for an option for me to get on something. Hey, look at that. There's friendly bats to help me out with the platforms. Thank you, friendly bats. All the passengers are collapsing. That's probably bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, see, this is why I think that Sonic compared to Shadow is fascinating. Because Shadow is kind of the opposite. So first of all, although he is, like, supposed to be an adult, like, he's, like, technically he's 50 years old or whatever, right? But I feel like, in terms of writing, he's so... What's that? Okay. Uh, you don't interact with that, I guess. Uh-huh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shoot, okay, that's fine. Um, like, Shadow, yeah, like, he's probably more of an adult in terms of intent, but in terms of writing, he nails being a teenager so much more honestly. Shadow is just perpetually in, like, in search of an identity. Like, he just is desperate to know. Dang it! how these platforms interact with one another, but like who he is, like what is the space Damn, in the world? He just here. is constantly confused. Like I was confused there with what to do. Thank you for the visual metaphor there, game. I appreciate it. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean the arc's already fallen. So he got bats there. Do I want to jump now? I can. All right, I heard that squawks. Like, like, it's easy to make fun about how Shadow's just constantly, constantly, constantly just doing whatever everyone's telling him, but that's the thing, he is desperate for guidance. Like, he just desperate to find a way to fit in in the world, and he just does not see it. Oh, jeez. Uh, that's land here. Alright. Hey, we did it. Oh, jeez, that was close. Look, sorry, bye. Yeah, I even shot. There we go. Spring! Um, I am looking down. Alright, do I just jump down now? I guess I can. Thanks for the guidance there, Evil Pete. Like, you know, like, the scenes where it goes like, Oh, like, you know, this easy as stealing babies from candy. Like, that's clearly posturing. 
There is no way. Like, when would he have ever done that? Never. Like, there's just no way. Like, is this something he says? He's posturing to himself. He's just like, he's not even saying that to anyone in particular. He just kind of says it because he... I think he kind of... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> wow! That air control! <laughs> then you can rock around like that and maybe fall off. It's pretty swell. Hey, it's Vector! Yeah, it is me, Shadow! Okay, please validate my existence, Vector! Destroy this robot if you want. Hey, refresh your bullets. Like, this is kind of funny because, like, Shadow is clearly competent. Like, he is good at doing things. He's very quick. He's, like, the second fastest thing on Earth. He, uh, you no, know, he's relatively smart. Like, he can figure things out. He knows how to use weapon, like, firearms. He is extremely precise with those. Like, he is accurate to a scary degree. He, when he knows what he's doing, he is a very able individual, but he just, <laughs> it just kind of broke. Uh, yeah, honestly, that's pretty, it's not how it would work in real life, Vector, I agree. Oh jeez, I kind of remember this part. Yeah, let's just hang out here, there we go, slow rotato, alright, here we go. Falling limber down the road. I feel like the reason why he's so accepting to just kind of do what Evil Pete wants him to do is that Evil Pete, following Evil Pete, like just being evil in general. Okay, that's the promise. Oh, well, I would love to jump up here and follow these rings, but that's not happening. Things are blowing up around us. Now the camera's like that, and uh, I don't know what to make of that. Nice little jump there, Vector. Oh, that was a key that just fall next to us. That was funny. Like, am I supposed to be doing something? I can turn the camera in one direction, but not the other. Oh, now the camera's like that. That's okay. It's so far away that, to the point of being useless, it's pretty good. I guess that means we're still alive, though. Oh, hey, here we go. Here's a midpoint. Like, Evil Pete, just being evil in general, that is the promise of easy answers. And I think that's just like what Shadow wants at this point in his life. Uh, I'm jumped. Oh, hey, it was land underneath me. That was nice. Uh, not yet. Thank you for the encouragement. Uh. Alright, rail to this spring. Don't press anything. I lied. I Whoops! So I press the button to um, go here. faster, but when you press that, you leave the air. So Shadow left the air right over the spot where the spring was. Uh, that was that was magical, man. Oh jeez, she didn't even hang on. All right, well luckily there was land right here. Yeah, here. Like, well, not this one. Was this one? That was really funny. Alright, so be careful about the buttons you choose to interact with, I guess. Hey, guys. I'm ignoring you. Yeah, Vector is following me. There's lasers hanging on the edge of something. I'm walking back and forth, and then I'm gonna be something. I don't got any keys. Uh, Alright, here we are. We're going here. Yeah, we're just looking for the emerald. There's a laser, and there's robots on the side. Sideways, whoops, the jump didn't jump. Yeah, I gotta wait for this elevator here. It's very awkward when that happens. I wanna summon my... Yay! I'm gonna summon a crocodile. This elevator is the slowest thing in the world. Like, that's the price you get for messing up that jump. Just wait. Here we go. Woo. Look at that, dramatic looking up. Oh, not if you're looking over here, though. Where's the door? There we go. Hey, da, 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 I solved the puzzle. I'm gonna run here and wait. Oh, what? I think I went through the door. That was really awkward indeed. And yeah, there we go. Yeah, I don't know. He's going on about a computer room. I'm gonna fall through space. How about that? <laughs> so yeah, 
the dark is just where am I from? Play where less of I the going? level. Soon the truth will be revealed. And to be fair, like in being in a space, wow, that is such a. And I got a C somehow. That's because I died like really close to the end, and then like didn't interact with anything really for much of anything. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Yeah, I don't know. Like, Shadow's an interesting character. Like, they, they, there's a lot of, like, edgy trapping to this game, like, gunshots for menus, and, like, Shadow. what, really? Dr. The egg dealer here? Add those six chaos emeralds to me. No. Like good boy. They're mine. You were once a great invention from my grandfather's past, but this is my time. Oh, this is Give interesting. Emeralds, and I will spare your life. Doctor. What? Huh. This is something I must do. I mean, it own. wouldn't have made sense to fight Evil Pete truth. if I help Evil Pete. But he doesn't help me here against the Robotnik. This is nonsense. You will obey me, or there will be dire consequences. Yeah, I think Robotnik I just thinks I'm, a, I'm an android. Now you'll get to see the destructive power of my strongest creation yet. A slot machine oh, robot! <laughs> All right, hey, it's Victor. He's here to help me against the slot machine robot. That's fun. All right, whoosh. No, you gotta be on. Uh, I gotta press the button. I'm the one that needs to press the buttons. Why'd you stop? Ah! You monster. Stop it. Uh, 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 yes. Yeah, so then he blows himself up. Man, he was really generous with the wait time there. All right, you have fun. I still managed to get hurt. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's very, very kind of random. I'm aware. That's right. I'm so mad at you, Robotnik, that you point your finger around like that. Thing is, like, I don't really benefit from it all that much. Maybe if I had a gun, but those don't exist. Eh. Yeah! Just homing a tag and hit and a button. And then I disappear from the scene. Why'd you put a ring down there? That just seems kind of silly. Yeah, I could do that. But I could just press the buns all day long, huh? How about that? Where would you find a gun? Shadow Fever! Death to all, alright? That includes you. Here we go. Whoop, no. Yeah, missile! Missile Jimmy! Alright, let me help you out. I'm so mad! <laughs> Still mad! I think he's like way off off range at this point, yeah. But you know, I'm in my point. Whoa, where'd your buttons go? They're like on the other side? Wait, how does that work? Ugh, dang it! Ugh. No. Okay, well, okay, now you're in the right direction. I don't get it. Alright, hey. Yeah, that's right. Nothing. I don't know what that does. Alright, it does nothing. Nothing does nothing. We figured it out. Hey. Whoa, whoa. Hey. Oh, that's right. Just making sounds. Uh, yeah, don't drop down there. Then you're gonna blow up. Yeah, I gotta be careful. Oh no, you put a bomb on your face. Robotnik. Why'd you do that? That seems very silly. All right, rings ahoy, ring town fever. Whoops, clumsiness fever. Then we keep hearing ding ding, you know, reminding us that it's dinner time somewhere. All right, time for a missile party. Don't look, don't look, Vector. We gotta look cool. I, this is by far the funnest, like, last boss because you just homing attack all day long and things happen be gone yeah look at him vibe you defile the ark with your presence all right so yeah a rank somehow i'll take perfect. it perfect perfect victory just stripping down his legs and falling all over the place uh, we did it we've mastered the game see now he's not gonna be sad like the last time i went here maybe i don't know Last time it was just sad, sad shadow. He still has the power to become super if he wants. Finally, I've got all the chaos emeralds. Well, you'll, you'll do with that. You ungrateful little pest. Have you forgotten that it was my grandfather who created hey, you? Hey, we're not our parents, but I am but Shadow the Hedgehog, yeah. the ultimate life form. 
born and raised aboard the Ark. The score on piano. I am the protector of the Ark. I am living proof of the huh. ultimate life form. This is who I am. Protector of the Ark. What? Leave now and never return. I won't allow anyone to violate huh. the sacred Ark. You know what? I feel like that's the most natural conclusion for Shadow. He's not necessarily bad, he postures as bad, uh, but he's not really. He never stole candy from a baby, I'm sorry. Um, but he's not really good. He's good, but he wants to stay un uninvolved with humans. Like, he clearly has loved humans in the past, like, he's fixated on Maria. There's text where it kind of, you know, alludes that he did have like, a lot of respect for the old Professor Gerald. But at the same time, humans betrayed him and, like, killed everyone he loved and then locked him up for, like, 50 years or whatever. So I think he just... This is a natural, a very natural feeling conclusion. He just wants to remove himself from society. He is seceding from humanity. He's gonna live in his space base in space. As a hermit, he's gonna protect what he kind of sees as a holy place, and uh, he's gonna leave it to that. And I think he can find genuine happiness and just like self satisfaction through that life. I like this. I like this a lot. I like how this is the video where I decided to try and wring some thoughts out of this about Shadow as a character. And it's kind of funny, because like in Sonic Adventure 2, like he's just, he's basically Chaos Control, Maria, and Fake Hedgehog. Like, there's nothing to him. In, the, um, in Heroes, they kind of play off the part where, like, he's supposed to be dead, and he's back, and I like, whoa, what's going on? Robots? I don't know. But, like, they don't have the time to really make it about him. Like, he's one-third of one-fourth of the game. He's one-twelfth of the game. Yeah, he shares as much Gravitas as Charmy to be. What about it? But, uh, this game, he has a full game to himself. And we get to see Shadow. We get Shadow. Not only do we get to see Shadow through the lens of a particular viewpoint of a particular story, we get to see multiple viewpoints of multiple shards of different lenses that are barely connected, but offer us a lot of different context of, like, how does Shadow react to a wide range of uh, stimuli and circumstances. It's not great to tell a cohesive A to B story, but honestly, for a character study, it's probably the ideal. I don't know how on purpose this was or not, but I'm liking the result. Like, I've long, like, stopped considering this game to just be a linear, sense-making story that has a start, an intro, a conclusion, with things happening in the middle. Forget that. If you, like, if you try to understand the narrative of this game in that way, you're either going to be frustrated or it's going to be ridiculous. I think it's just, yeah, you need to see a, a different way. Oh, sweet! We've upgraded Amachow's head! <laughs> uh, gone with the darkness, huh? Yeah! Gone with the wind, gone with the dark. Yeah, he's gone. As I said, he left humanity. Get rid of your own problems. There's still, like, Evil Pete going on and gun at war on Earth. Like, that whole conflict is far from over. Shadow ain't having none of it. Get rid of your own problems. <laughs>